you're not going to do anything crazy, are you? Yes. Good. No, wait, you are going to do something crazy or? No, I like you. I like you too. I have no idea why. <laughs> what a delightful sci-fi film ROM 115 is. It evokes um, so much of the purity of filmmaking in this kind of genre that I feel we, we got and saw in the mid-2000s especially without having to feel like it needs to be something grander and super complex and dare I say, as some uh, of these films do delve into convolutedness, it's just really about the experience of being an outsider and trying to learn the ways and beings of the new group that you find yourself in. And at its core, that's what all alien stories really should be about, right? Trying to fit in while also retaining uh, some essence of who you truly are at your core. And I think that is done beautifully here, especially by lead actress Kimmy Alexander, who puts on a wonderful performance as our lead alien and really uh, is the heart and soul of the piece. 115. Character uses her body and voice to create sort of robotic and human movements and a style of speech that make this inhuman character believable. I did have a difficult time gauging a sense of time, which I felt was purposefully done, as I felt like some scenes jumped, maybe not completely following a linear structure. And then you had this editing style where it would like flash to back black, symbolizing like something had changed, but the characters were all unaware of it. I often felt like I was seeing the ending of the scene and then flashing back to the beginning of the scene. So I really didn't get a sense of the structure or linear structure or the time structure but I got a sense that it was purposely done that way um a stylistic choice potentially I mean over the time you saw the arc in this character you saw it become more human-like and speech and temperament um JT is just likable throughout he's so patient with her um and you see that grow and you and you see like a growing arc in their romance which is is prominent throughout the piece as well 115. This film is a captivating mix of futuristic and 1950s American aesthetics, um, creating a unique and immersive set setting that is both uh, dystopian and nostalgic. The inventive storyline with this mix of sci-fi and retro, featuring a woman from space who become increasingly human, is, is a really engaging and thought-provoking uh, idea. You really want to see how an alien would fit into 1950s America uh, and the world, in the human world in general. Um, I think the set design is really impressive. It effectively blends these two elements. Um, and I really wanted to know how she would, um, her journey would be explored. Uh, it was really well explored and how... Um, um, and how um, the, the relationship with the guy would end up. However, I think it's a bit of a missed opportunity that the same level of inventiveness wasn't applied so much to the sound design and editing. I think with stronger sound and editing, the film could have enhanced its atmosphere and emotional impact even further. Despite this, the journey of the protagonist and her evolving relationship with the human are compelling and well executed. The film... Um, is very creative and um, even if some technical aspects could have been more polished, it's still a standout. Um, I really liked 115. Um, I thought it was a creative idea. I think the concept was brilliant and interesting and drew me in. The idea of like an alien and an alien in a romance in this way. Um, I thought it was clever and it was infinitely interesting uh i thought it was executed well the writing was great um uh i uh, uh i never i've never se seen i personally have never seen like a like uh rom-com and sci-fi mixed together like this and i thought it was done really well because they say you know good sci-fi speaks uses sci-fi elements to speak about humanity to speak about real life 
And I thought that that's this that's what this is. And then Good Romance has you invested in the couple or the characters, and also makes you laugh. And make uh and I, and I think that this movie did that. So I think it did both. It's both good sci-fi and both good rom-com, and it accomplished it all. And I that could not have been easy, um, to do all of that in one movie. Um, really well done. Great job. This film is called 115. This was an entertaining sci-fi romance. I really enjoyed all the performances of the cast, especially Emily, who was able to maintain the alien moves and delivery throughout much of the film. JT was also so endearing, humorous, and loving. Other cast members were excellent too, able to do multiple scenes with conviction each time. The voiceover robot was also consistently crisp. The 80s wardrobe was bang on across the board, as was the music. The camera work was awesome, lots of capable shots of day and night, and in the spaceship, where the set, by the way, was brilliant. Overall, I thought the concept of the story was quite clever, and very relieved by the end that Emily was able to break free for true love. Great job.